So a little bit of background, I'm currently studying astrophysics. And the thing about studying astrophysics is that it can alter your perception of the world in unimaginable ways. So recently I went traveling around the northern parts of New Zealand, visiting the towns of Whangarei and Paihia, which are beautiful places. And while I was there, I visited a lot of rivers and waterfalls. And it turns out that the phenomena of rivers and waterfalls connects significantly with a theory that I learned in astrophysics. So there I was in Whangarei sitting beside a waterfall along the river and enjoying myself in the ways that human beings normally do at waterfalls, you know, dipping my feet in the water and feeling the current between my toes. And as I was standing there, I couldn't help but look at the waterfall to see an energy cascade. Whereas normally your perception would lead you to just see falling water and although in that form it is pretty majestic in itself, on top of this beautiful thing that nature took hundreds of human lifetimes to create, I also saw a turbulent energy cascade, which is a concept in physics that can be used to describe the flow of energy from very large scales to much smaller scales which is what a waterfall really is, actually, if you think about it. A flow of energy from large scales at the top down to smaller scales downstream. It just so happens that this concept of a turbulent energy cascade is the same concept using the same mathematics that can be applied to a waterfall can also be applied to model the formation of stars in the turbulent interstellar medium. The process of star formation is initiated by the injection of turbulent energy from different sources, such as the shock wind of a supernova and pressure heating by streams of cosmic rays, which then cascades to smaller turbulent cells that cause the collapse of giant molecular clouds, thus forming stars. And since stars harbor planets and planets harbor life and life harbors consciousness, well, I guess that means everything is a part of this continuous energy cascade that flows from the very largest of scales, from that of the rotation of our galaxy itself to the collapse of giant molecular clouds, all the way down to smaller and smaller scales to that of a stream of water somewhere in Whangarei, New Zealand. If that is the case, then I would just like to say that if you're having a bad day, just go with the flow, ladies and gentlemen. Now, in that moment, by the waterfall, although I was on vacation at the time and I was away from the telescopes, the data, the algorithms and equations of my usual daily grind, I felt much closer to the stars than I could have possibly ever imagined. And that's a pretty darn beautiful perspective to have, the feeling of conscious connection to the universe. I'm reminded of the conversation the physicist Richard Feynman had with his artist friend, and the artist was complaining about how scientists will go about to unweave the rainbow and take all of this apart and it all becomes some really dull thing. And my experience by the waterfall in Fangare revealed to me that this was not the case. Science does not subtract from the beauty of a flower or a waterfall. It only adds to it. It can only enhance the experience of seeing the universe that we inhabit, this cosmos, ancient and vast, from which we spring. Thank you.